reforms in education have been discussed, but unresolved issues remain regarding political discourse in schools, a drug testing program, and salary raise for teachers. Officials from 10 of 16 political parties, which are members of the Supreme Council for Consultation and Recommendations, met on Monday with Ministers of Education, Juice and Sport, Hong Jun Naron, at the Capital Peace Palace to discuss issues in the education sector. Cambodian Youth Party CYP President Pek Sro said he had asked the minister to address issues regarding political discourse in schools, teachers giving private tuition after hours, and the prohibition of of private lessons in school from primary through high school to improve the quality of education in the kingdom. In a Facebook post, Sroth said the topics he mentioned were issues raised by citizens themselves. Delegates of other political parties had also raised concerns during the meeting. In lieu of these concerns, Sroth said he had requested for the implementation of a drug testing program for middle and high school students. The test will be administered every three months to deter students from using drug greater attention to the ninth grade examination was also called for to strengthen the capacity of middle school students and guarantee the quality of learning and their future competency in the workplace. Additionally, Sroth called for a salary raise for teachers and suggested they get paid at least 2 million real or about $255 a month in a bid to prevent them from collecting unauthorized payments from students and as motivation to do better. After the meeting, Khmer Rice Party KRP President Sok So Wan Watana Sabong said he had also asked for actions to be taken against teachers who extort money from students on the pretext of giving after class lessons. Some teachers also collect payment for photocopying papers, said Watana Sabong, who also noted the need for reforms in the education sector to support the lack of instructional materials. Members of the council and KRP delegates will try their best to participate in reforming the education sector so that it will yield better results for society, said Watana Sabong. Ministry spokesman Ruth Sowicha told the Post on Monday that it welcomed collaborations with relevant parties and expressed appreciation for all the constructive criticism it had received. The ministry also assured participants that it would implement the much-needed education reforms. The ministry was to strengthen the quality of education, especially in science and technology. It is committed to prioritizing teachers' quality of instruction, expanding the scope of instruction at all levels, strengthening school management inspections, and encouraging technical education in high schools, he said. Meanwhile, Sroth said the ministry had rejected some of the suggestions, such as prohibiting students from engaging in political discourse, drug testing program for students, and a race for teachers, citing the lack of law and funding to support such initiatives. Thank you.